So I'm here with Tommy. Oh, I'm going to throw my phone away. So I'm here with Tommy. Tommy, you're from? Uh, Chicago. Chicago. Down for the game today or just? Yeah, for the game yep. today. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I was happy with the first half, but it was second half, Brentford adjusted. We didn't look good. So and unfor unfortunately, it's kind of how it's been going for this season. And what's your stance with kind of like an alleviate out movement? I mean, I'm trying to be... I'll, no, I'll, no, no, I'll, no be, be as honest as you yeah, want. Because honest. kind of like what I want to hear is because we purely on our channel it's literally leave you out because okay. we want change i mean i'm okay with if he's gone but realistically he's making hand over fist with the concerts formula one car track and so forth so you know with the directors and the powers that be he is making or so he, he's making money for them so you know great for them product of the field is not great of course mm -hmm. so Ideally, if he stays, get a like, get a director of football operations, kind of like in American sports. Have that person someone to take care of the footballing like, side. Exactly, of and like he's like, you have 150 million dollars to spend. Um, whoever you sell, that's fine. But this is like how much you can go overall, and let that person deal with that. He has no say. In everything else, I know it's Daniel Levy. So probably not going to happen, but. I can dream. I think the thing is, like, from from our perspective, or certainly from my perspective, it's been he's been there for twenty odd years. I don't think he's going to change. Of course, I won't. Also, he's making he's making so much money off this. So, like, I mean, with Enoch, they're an investment company. So, there's no reason to sell up right now. I mean, yeah, and, and I and I say that financially as a Spurs fan, yes. What's been going down this season? Yes, very frustrating. So it's and unfortunately, this is no easy fix. Like we, we kind of been asking for. It. We haven't bought had transfers in what three transfer windows at the time. Pochettino, let's go. Gets a go. Bring in, uh, Mourinho and. How was how was you at the start of this season? Was you um, enthusiastic based on where we were and the fact that we had I a high thought, finish last year? We had Conte at the helm. I mean, realistically, I thought we got a little lucky to get fourth place last year. We made some signs. I thought we started off strong in the transfer window. We kind of faded at the end. So realistically, if we got third place. I would have and some deep cup runs, whether it be Champions League, FA Cup. I would have settled for that. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. Uh, even though we had like what the greatest start ever, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that we were a second half team, I felt it was unsustainable, and unfortunately, I was proven right. It's just it, it's panned out to be a, like a kind of a bit of a nightmare of a season. So right now we're in. We don't have a manager. We don't have a director of football. It doesn't look as if we have a strategy anywhere. We don't have a women's manager even. We don't have a back four like, either. We don't have a back four either. Um, thank you. So it's it's a case of what has to change in the summer. What what's going to get you back enthused about Tottenham? I don't know. Just we need Levy to buy in first of all. Uh, with this new manager and director of football. That's the biggest thing. And we gotta stick with this plan. Uh, and don't plan? Keep... <laughs> we need him to go for football and play. Yeah, I mean, well, realistically, this is probably a three, four, or five year plan. This is not gonna happen overnight. It's another reset, isn't it? It's yeah, a reset, reboot, it's not like, five year like, plan. I mean, I don't like to say it like this, but when uh, Spurs got, or not Spurs, Arsenal got Arteta, like, took them two years to turn around. They stuck with him. They trusted the plan, so to speak. If, they, if we can stick with something like that and actually not deviate from it, it could work. So in terms of new manager, who would you select? I have no idea. I guess there's a whole load of names I mean, I would have taken right the there, is, there is a whole load of names, but at the moment it's looking like a strong possibility of Arnie Shaw. However, saying that, it's season ticket renewal prices season. So it's coming up now. It is. Names I, I would be not be surprised if we end up with Ryan Mason in the dugout in August or Bernard Rogers. Brendan. Bernard. 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 Yeah. Bernard. 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 Bernard's about right. Bernard, 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 yeah, pretty much. Bernard Matthews, whatever so the fuck he wants to be called. <laughs> but Brendan Rogers, sorry, I do apologise. Um, slip of the tongue there. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I'd like to see Arnie Schlott. I'd like to see Arnie Schlott. As long as he's given a good, a good direc Backing. Uh, direction. Backing of again, right? Backing you again know? and the power to. And again, so it's, it, do he needs, his way. He needs, he needs the players to play his way 
not buy players that you think way, that's going to be like have potentially Jets good. Or, 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 or you base it off of their potential. I'll say for argument, I know I've been banging on about it for the last fucking half an hour, hour or whatever. But it, Jose Mourinho asked for Kim Min Jae, and he fucking, what was he, 10 million? He's now worth 40 million at Napoli. Jack, he, Jack he, was, he was their rock at the back. Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish, another one. 25 million, 30 million. Oh, yeah. And we, and we offered, we low ball, we low ball Aston Villa because they were in dire straits and then they got a new owner so and then that was it. Of them, you know, fuck off, Levy. And fucking rightly so. They told Levy to fuck off. And it, it just goes to show nobody does business like Daniel Levy or Enoch. It, it, it's, has it not dawned on anyone yet? It's. An absolute realisation. I don't want. I don't. I don't. I know people are going to say "fuck off" to Arsenal TV to me. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. At the end of the day, and I don't want this to sound like I'm I'm I'm, I'm like from Arsenal TV, but it is the fucking truth. It is the truth. And the thing is, it's going to hit people harder next season, the season after that, the season after that. It is. It, it's, a, it's the truth. I've been seeing it for the last fucking twenty odd years. You know. I've been Levy out for the last 10, 11 years. And here's the issue with the whole nickel and diming is if you pay a few extra million, like for Jack Rulers, pay the extra five million that he exactly. wanted. Exactly. It's like it's you, a no you, you win with these players exactly. and you pay a little extra, you're going to make even exactly. more money with that. That's it. That's and that's it. like the goal. If you pay for these players, yeah. if you pay, it's, yeah, for, and for it's me, a that's no like, that's the most frustrating thing. And then about you, it. You, you fucking, you paid for fucking Eric Dyer's contract for three years. No, oh, I don't even want to think about that. You're going to end up with fucking eighth place like we are this season. And we've got no European football, which I'm glad about. I'm glad we've got no fucking European football because the fuckers ain't going to get the fucking European money. You know, I'm glad. You know, the more Spurs fucking fall down, the better. Because at the end of the day, I'm I'm tired of this own, of this ownership. I really am tired of this ownership. I don't give a shit what people say. You come and say it to my face, see what happens. You know what I mean? I don't want to sound aggressive, but I will give it. I, 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 you know, you, you've got nothing. You've got no argument. It's, it's, All right. The argument Anyways, cheers, man. Thank you. No worries, brother. Big up to you, oh, East Milwaukee. Yeah. No, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. 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 Yeah, I'm, Chicago. I'm Milwaukee. Oh, so he's from Milwaukee. Milwaukee yeah. So Milwaukee Red Hot Spurs. There you go. Big up. Of Chicago's or Chase House. Right. Should I have to buy a grill? Hope we can have you. Yes. Okay. We'll promote you. There you go. Take care. Speak right. soon. Thank Bye. You. <laughs>